Good Sunday morning, everyone. It is Sunday, June 24th, I believe. At least I got the month right. I've gotten the month wrong like three or four times in the last week, two weeks. Anyway, there's a lot going on and I'm obviously extra distracted. Um, we're out running some errands, depositing some checks, picking up groceries. And I've been working on the commission that I got from a friend, so I want to get that done. And then I have to pack up this week the rest of my art room, um, or at least make a decent sized dent in it. Um, yeah. So we can get like shelves and stuff off the wall. Yeah, it's going to be a big deal. So it's going to take me a week or two. I have two weeks. It's going to probably take me two weeks. All right, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. I brought old grouch grouchy pants in the house because it's really hot outside. Huh, poopy. <laughs> yeah, he's just like, I uh, can't be bothered to complain that you're videotaping me. <laughs> and playing with some resin today before I pack it up <laughs> to get it out of the way of the workmen that are going to be in here. And I got a commission for a custom keeper cover so I'm working on that it's drying now and I had leftover resin so I poured it into some skull molds that I have and then we'll see if I was capable of doing a sort of a galaxy skull I tinted the resin black and then did the alcohol ink thing in it we'll see what happens the resin is um, getting old so it's turning yellow it doesn't affect its um, ability to get hard and all of that but it is um, it is tinted yellow so anyway so um, I tinted it black and then put alcohol ink in it I have no idea if that's gonna work but I guess we'll find out hey Probably. guys it's Monday morning June I think it's the 25th holy crap I just knew this like two seconds ago Yes, it's the 25th. See, I was right. I am. I've been packing a few more boxes, working on getting my office cleared, which is a bigger deal than the husband's office because let's be honest, I have way more stuff in mind. But we've got to get the drywall repair done and it's time for both offices to get a fresh coat of paint and all of that stuff. So anyway, it's the answer machine. Anyway, I'm going to head out and run a few errands and pick up a few more boxes and some tape. And yeah, maybe a couple of packing tubes, that kind of thing. All right, so I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday, June. I almost said January, honestly. It's June 26th, I'm pretty sure, because yesterday was the 25th. Holy cow. Anyway, um, it's about 10.35 in the morning, and I haven't gotten far today. So I didn't even, <laughs> I was working on my morning coffee when my phone started with text messages and Facebook messages and questions and the gardener showed up and knocked on the front door and I was still in my pajamas and then they knocked again because they forgot something and yeah, it's just been one of those days already. It's only 10.35. <laughs> So <coughs> I'm going to go try to run my couple of errands I want to run early because I'm thinking today, yeah, it might be crazy. So anyway, let's go get it done. So you know things are weird and I'm stressed out when driving around downtown San Jose relaxes me. <laughs> you know something's just off with that. Because <laughs> I don't like driving that much anymore. Anyway. So I found the other tap plastics and got what I needed. Yay! I was chit-chatting with the guy and he was very nice and gave me an address of all the stores in California and Oregon. Um, they only have them in the two states. Because I was telling him I went to the store over by my house that's now suddenly closed <laughs> and I was asking where their other locations were. So that was really nice to have that. Um, and he was just saying that they got a ridiculous rent increase and that was just way out of line and um, they management decided to close the store. 
so yeah anyway I'm getting text messages while I'm doing this um, he also said that you know the rent as I already knew rent and real estate values in Santa Clara County in the San Francisco Bay Area are just way out of control and especially for retail space and um, he said we were ch talking and chatting and he said that University Art also over here um, is no longer there which I was not aware of so I might actually drive over there on the way home that would be really sad that was like our only proper art supply store in San Jose that means we don't have one that would suck but I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> I really need to move somewhere where they are more creative friendly, if you know what I mean. Maybe someday. All right, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. I just looked up University Art online and they really only do have Redwood City and Sacramento anymore. How sad is that? Anyway. Hey guys, it is still Tuesday. It's Tuesday, right? I think it's Tuesday. <laughs> ah, um, it is 6.53 p.m. I haven't started dinner yet. It's going to be sort of cooking with Fred without Fred. Um, so I'm not going to make it a full episode, I don't think. I'm going to think I'm going to stick it in the vlog. I don't know right now what I'm going to do. Anyway, Fred's not home yet. And we didn't cook this over the weekend because we didn't have time. But we have another plated box. Um, this is um, ha not sponsored. You know, but plated if you want to sponsor, I'm available. Look in the description and contact me. Give me a jingle. Okay. Um, we are going to cook steak frites. This is the um, little recipe book that they always give. It comes in a, with all the ingredients in a box. Um, I get it at Safeway. You can, they do have a subscription, I think, but I don't get it as a subscription. I just pick them up when I feel like it at Safeway. All right. So we have baby spinach. Um, steak frites, which is potatoes. Steak potatoes. These are all the potatoes and garlic and spices. This is the meat, and this is the other piece of meat. So let's put this over here. And wash my hands.
recipe is supposed to look like. And this is what our plates look like. I don't know, I think it still looks yummy. So I guess it's a good thing that I cooked the meat a little rare, which is the way I like it, because he's gonna have to microwave his when he gets home. That sucks. Anyway, another plated meal. Think about trying them, I really like them. And plated, if you wanna sponsor me, I'm available. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, how are you? It is, what day is it? Wednesday, June, I almost said January, people. I think it's June 27th, if I'm not mistaken, but I could be mistaken. Um, uh, it is already after two o'clock in the afternoon and I'm just now turning the camera on. It's been one of those kind of mornings. I haven't gotten a ton of stuff done, but you know, it's just, I don't know, it seems I had a lot to do, but I feel like I didn't get a lot done. Do you know what I mean? Have you guys ever had one of those days? It can't just be me, right? So I have um, some stuff I've got to get out in the mail um, so I can tell people how much postage they owe me, um, including the commission piece that I was working on. And I've got to get that, that out in today's mail. And so I'm gonna do that. It's all dry and hardened and pick up my mail and then later on the daughter's coming over so she can borrow some kitchen implements from me and what she keeps doing is so funny but you know they're uh, getting ready to uh, move again uh, Polyus is going to graduate school um, actually in another state so I keep teasing her I said you know I'm not going to be five minutes away for you to borrow stuff from so, you know, at some point, you know, you're going to have to put it on your Christmas list or something. I'm going to have to buy you one or somebody's going to have to get it for you for Christmas or something. So, she says, yeah, but I'm going to borrow it while I can. You know, I don't blame her. I'd do the same thing. So, anyway, and we've, I've got some other appointments meeting me at the house later this afternoon. So, I want to go get this stuff in the mail now and um, maybe have a few minutes to have some lunch before people start coming over, maybe. Unlike yesterday where I was answering the door in my pajamas because everybody was really, really early and I wasn't expecting anybody, right? Tomorrow we have more people coming over for appointments but that this is early in the morning. So I'm gonna have to get up early with my husband when he gets ready for work like I did this morning and um, get dressed early so I'm not caught in my pajamas again because you know that's just not good I have a bunch of website updates I have got to work on I am like three or four weeks behind on the website updates uh, if you're part of my design team and you're watching this I'm sorry um, this is one of those times when I wish I really had somebody to help me with the website edits and updates. But I don't, it's just me. So, but I'm hoping I can work on that actually tomorrow afternoon and maybe just get a bunch of website stuff cranked out. I do have also a stencilified journal thing to do for week 10. I think it's week 10. Um, for one of my friends who's also doing it. We had a week that we are supposed to like trade journal pages and work in each other's journals and I've got to work on hers, it's on my desk. So um, those are the two things I need to do like immediately today or tomorrow. So we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Keys are just noise. The noise is just on my nerves today. All right, let's see how crazy the parking lot is today. Uh. Hello, everybody. I can technically still say good morning because it's a quarter to twelve. It's technically still morning. <laughs> it is Thursday, June, something. I don't know. It's June. Um, twenty eighth, I think. I had to count in my head. 
Um, I have been this morning doing some product testing and writing up reports for the Etsy shop by Shannon Green. If you don't know who Shannon Green is here on YouTube and you've never seen her Etsy shop, oh my God. I'll link it in the description below. She's the creator inventor of the Custom Keeper, which is a traveler's notebook style notebook made out of repurposed billboard vinyl. I love them so much. And I was testing some new products for her. Can't talk about it because I don't think she's ready, but anyway, um, and writing up my reports and everything. And I also finally um, sent out a new MailChimp email newsletter today, which I haven't done since we were in Lake Tahoe in May. You guys, it's almost July. Things are just, yeah. So I'm trying to get caught up the last couple of days. Um, but I did get the new email newsletter out. It's got some really, like some bo good bonus material in it. If you wanna see it, subscribe to the newsletter because sometimes they get news first. And I also always put a coupon code in there for my own Etsy shop. And I don't really put that code anywhere else except in the newsletter. So anyway. Um, I will put in the description below how you can subscribe to the newsletter if you're interested. Let's see, what else? I do have to update the website because it's, I think, been equally as long for the website updates as it has been for the email newsletter. And I'm at least two, two commitments behind, in maybe three, in updating the website with links for like Explorations of Me, maybe for May. I don't remember if I did it or not. I know my giant life for June's not gotten up there, I don't think. And there's been some um, collaborations and videos from my design team that need to be put on there. <clears throat> yeah, so I'm not doing my job very well right now. So I'm trying to get caught up. Um, right now though, I'm taking a computer break because I've literally been in front of the computer most of the morning and I need to eat some lunch, but I need to go to the store first. So I'm gonna go to the grocery store and get some stuff for lunch today, dinner tomorrow, staples that we're out of, that sort of thing. And then get back to it after lunch. Yep. All right, that's it for right now. I'll hey be guys, how are you? It is Friday, June, I almost said January again, holy cow. June, what day is it? I think it's the 29th, but let's, let's double check, shall we? Yes, it's the 29th, my iPad says so. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna count on it being way more accurate than I am. <laughs> um, <coughs> excuse me, it's about 10.35 in the morning and I've spent the morning, um, of course, doing my daily postings and that sort of thing and also packing up some more of the art room. I got the shelves over my table empty. I know, right? Um, I have another box of stuff to toss or um, get rid of, give away, I don't know yet. It's mar they're mark making tools, but they're mostly like found objects. So I might just put them in the rubbish bin. I don't I don't know. We'll see. I, I my brain is overloaded right now. I have a meeting um, in about an hour, and my husband's working from home today. I'm not sure if you can hear mumbling in the background. He's in his office on a conference call with the door closed. Um, so anyway, it is Friday night, so it is family dinner and game night. So the kids are coming over with the dog. And I fixed yet another one of Lily's dog toys that she chewed a hole in. Um, yeah, um, as I've been packing and purging, I've been leaving out stuff that um, I know I'm going to need going forward. And um, one of the things I thought I might need is a needle and thread. So I did leave needle and thread out, thank goodness, because yeah, anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I, I did. I was up kind of late last night working. Um, getting the website updated and so both the blog my personal blog page and also the design team's blog page are all updated I added a few more photos to the inspiration photos page on my website I'll link the website in the description below if I forget somebody remind me um, I think that's it right now I don't even have to go get the mail today because the husband has an appointment at 3 15 or something today, so uh, he, I'm going to ask him to get the mail on his way back. I think that works. And we're going to just do something easy tonight for dinner, pizza. We like pizza, so that's what we're going to do. <sighs> that's it right now. I found out that um, yesterday I was um, doing some chores and laundry and stuff, and when I was trying to work on the website, I kept hearing this 
like hard plastic crunching sound coming from the dog pen, from Bandit's, my dog's pen, Bandit's pen. His pen's right outside my office window. And I thought, what the heck, what the heck is he chewing on? Um, you know, he's really old. He's going to be 15 soon. He doesn't even have all of his teeth anymore. And I thought, what the heck is he chewing on? He's going to lose another tooth. So I go out there and there's this big hard piece of plastic. I don't know where it came from. I'm assuming the neighbor kids threw it over the fence. I'm ready to strangle them. I really am. They're constantly throwing shit over the fence into the dog run. And he chewed on it so much that there he uh, had bloody gums. You know, I just, yeah. So anyway, went out and got rid of it yesterday. That was the drama yesterday. I'm hoping there's none today. I mean, mostly they throw oranges in his run and, you know, that's okay, I guess. At least it's, you know, a food, edible food thing and it's not a hard plastic thing. But, you know, really, oh, yeah, yeah. these are the same family that let their little kid run around in the front yard naked peeing on their, in their bushes, uh, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Anyway. All right, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. I'm gonna take the sound out. You can say whatever you want. Really, don't be camera shy. He's not camera shy. Really? Hmm? So it's Saturday, lunchtime, June. What is it? June 30th. 30th, yeah. June 30th. We spent the morning packing up some more in the art room, and we're breaking for lunch, and headed to Togo's for a sandwich. Yes, my art room's looking pretty empty. Oh boy. Hey, uh, yeah, hey, nice parking job. Right? Anyway, we got our sandwiches. We're going to go home eat now. Good morning, everybody. Fun fact it's Sunday morning. It is 8.05. I forgot to film, film an exit clip last night for the week's vlog. Again. Oops. Anyway, um, the reason for that is, as you can see, we were packing up more of my art room so um and we just got wrapped up in that and we're meeting with some family this morning and having an early breakfast but anyway I'll talk about that in next week's vlog um we got wrapped up in this and making some don charity donations and yeah anyway so we will be progressing this next week in, in packing up my office and a few other parts of the house that we need to to get more interior work done here and painting and stuff like that and yeah it's a thing it's a big job i'm not a hoarder by any stretch but when you have to pack your shit up you sure do feel like one anyway that's my thought for the week <laughs> all right that's it for right now i hope you've all had a great week and a great day and that you're still enjoying the vlogs if you have any questions comments or concerns leave them down below and all of the relevant links will be in the description. If I forget one, somebody leave a comment and let me know. I'll fix it right away. Um, that's it, though, for right now. I hope you've all had a great week, a great day. Don't forget the most important thing besides like, share, subscribe. And if you want to get notifications for new videos, hit that little bell icon. Um, go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. You really do. All right, that's it, everybody. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.